We have entered the last 10 nights of Ramadan. These are the most powerful, most blessed nights of the entire year. Let's not waste our time. You know, giving you an example of a football match or a cricket match, I promise you those who follow those games will tell you that the most exciting time is actually the end. So towards the end of a match, there is a lot of excitement because no one wants to lose and everyone wants to actually score that extra goal to make sure that they consolidate their win. My brothers and sisters, Ramadan is very different. It cannot be compared to a football match or a cricket match, but only to bring it closer to our understanding towards the end, make sure that a goal is not scored against you, but rather score as many goals as you can in these last moments of this month of Ramadan. If you haven't already scored goals, please start scoring right now. The fact that there is no goalkeeper because there is no shaitan, the fact that it is quite empty, you can score as many goals as you want. There is no room for laziness in these last 10 nights of Ramadan. No room for wasting time on online games or anything else, sitting and watching soaps and so on. These are the last 10 nights of Ramadan. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to get his family up. They used to worship Allah. He used to take it seriously. And subhanallah, he used to spend these nights in the most blessed way. What about us? We should take these seriously. At least don't waste your time. Don't let these moments die or just pass by, slip through your fingers when these are the moments of forgiveness. Allahumma innaka hafuun to hibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving. You love to forgive. So forgive me. Subhanallah, that's the most powerful dua you could make in the nights of Ramadan, especially these last 10 nights. If we were to achieve forgiveness, wallahi, we've achieved a lot. Allah says, is Laylatul Qadri Khairum Min Alf Shahr. The night of decree is more powerful, is better than 1,000 months, which is more than 83 years of ibadah. Imagine if you were to give a charity on the night, in the last 10 nights of Ramadan, and that was the night of decree you would have a reward that is multiplied unimaginably by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's control our tongues. Let's make sure that if we haven't done so much good, at least don't do any bad at all. Let's mend our ways and habits and promise Allah that when this month comes out, we are still going to maintain the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, don't waste these last 10 nights. You may never see Ramadan again. There are so many who have left us this month of Ramadan, gone back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have a lease. A lease